More Hampton Road students had the option to go to school without a mask today. Hampton, along with Isle of Wight, Accomack, and York counties made the change after Governor Glenn Youngkin signed a new bill into law making masks optional in schools. Ten on your side, Stephanie Hudson is looking into how this might affect the spread of COVID moving forward. Steph? Well, Chris, no one knows for sure what will happen long term, but two of our largest school districts, Virginia Beach and Chesapeake, actually made masks optional a month ago. So we looked at numbers there for some insight. There are more smiling faces visible in Hampton Road schools this week as several districts are making masks optional. It's time to look at, at the way forward rather than concentrating on what's happened in the past. Virginia's acting health commissioner, Dr. Colin Green, said the goal is keeping people healthy and mitigation is a balance. Masks don't appear to be effective in stopping Omicron, he said, and kids have never been at high risk of severe disease. Uh, in fact, it's more likely in Virginia for a child to die in a motor vehicle accident than it is to die of COVID. Ted on your side looked at what's happening right now in two districts where masks have been optional for a month. Chesapeake reports 230 cases in the last 14 days and only four today. Virginia Beach has 556 reports in February out of nearly 64,000 students, so spread is very low. Still, some parents of high-risk students are worried. Katie Kane of Chesapeake, who we spoke with in January, told me today that she upgraded to KF94 mask in an effort to protect her youngest child. And CHKD pediatrician Dr. Douglas Mitchell told 10 on your side last night there's now concern for kids developing a complication of COVID called Miss C. We are still seeing some hospitalizations in pediatric uh, patients. Mitchell says just because masks aren't required doesn't mean you have to stop wearing one. As many parents now weigh their options. Honestly, I, I would ask them to remember that it's not 2020 anymore. Both doctors agree vaccination is the best defense. Now, Suffolk schools will go mask optional next Monday, Portsmouth schools next Tuesday, while Norfolk will consider the matter at its school board meeting next week. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.